Do you believe there's a point where the advancements in uh, technology and artificial intelligence, where we'll have to halt it in the name of preserving eth the ethics of like, the human experience? I don't think so, because I think, for the most part, robots are going to be helpful and become companions. And this is something called friendly AI. Uh, AI has been funded by the Pentagon, and the Pentagon pu funds things to kill people, not to help people. That's why we pay generals. We pay generals to win wars, not to lose wars. But this also means that private enterprise is now getting in the game, where they want to make robots based on a different principle, make them friendly. This is called friendly AI. Japan, for example, has a different attitude toward robots. In this country, people fear the Schwarzenegger Terminator robot. In Japan, children love robots. It has to do with Shintoism. In the Shinto religion, there is a spirit in everything, even inanimate matter. There is a spirit in the robot. There's a spirit in all mechanized objects. And so the Japanese people, the kids, love robots. Just look at their animes. They all love robots. Well, in this country, you know, kids freak out when they see these killer <laughs> robots because, of course, yes. they were funded by the Pentagon. Now we're going to see private enterprise beginning to fund these things. Now, the next question is, what happens in the next century, not this century? In this century, I think robots are not going to pose much of a threat. But in the 22nd century, they could become self-aware, and they may think of us as an evolutionary dead end. At that point, what do we do? They could remove that chip in their brain. They could remove the fail-safe system. So at that point, 100 years from now, I suggest we merge with them. Okay. We become supermen and superwomen, and we merge with our creations and explore the universe with immortal bodies.